part of your body are you the most proud of? My head. <laughs> it just doesn't grow. It just doesn't grow when it feels pure. It's pretty cool being an, an offensive lineman. Obviously, you're a little bit different than most athletes. So obviously, our body types are going to be drastically different. There's a whole stigma behind the old line body. I think, as you can see, some of these guys are pretty well built, strong guys, and I just wanted to put that out there and see how it settles. What made you want to do the issue this year? Or I hear maybe it's who made you want yeah, to do the body issue. I think Lane was the guy who was really pushing for it. My whole deal was I was kind of nervous how some of the guys were going to take it. I told them about it. They were kind of reluctant at first. Some guys were in, some guys were out. I was super reluctant coming into it, but one of the best things about you know, our group is we have such a good uh, camaraderie and chemistry. That's part of being a, part of a team and a unit. You know, some guy wants to do something and it takes you out of maybe your comfort zone or something you might have been interested in. I thought it was going to be, I guess, more, I guess, revealing, but uh, it, it was cool. It was really fun. Um, get to. Uh, do a lot of naked shoots with, with a bunch of guys. <laughs> you know, 50 years from now, we're gonna look back and we'll be like, hey, you remember this day? <laughs> I mean, I feel I feel like the kind of bad guy of the group kind of forcing everybody to do it, so I have to pay them off somehow. Get them some, maybe a nice watch or something. Guys, quick announcement. Your quarterback just signed a four-year extension. There we go! How much? Do they have, much? Do they have, much? Do they have numbers? No numbers. We have a really good quarterback here in Carson Wentz, and I mean, that's our utmost important job is to protect him. Um, but I think offensive line play in general is really a position of servitude. You know, you don't really have stats, you don't have, uh, you know, the glory of scoring touchdowns. Really a very unique position, and I think that's one of the cool things about football is that there's kind of a place for every kid to play uh, or for anybody to play, regardless of size, shape, or speed. Playing guard, he relies on his lats to <clears throat> think and grab a hold of somebody. He's pretty good at what he does. What part of your body are you most proud of? Uh, my hair. Yeah. It's been uh, it's a little over three years now, so it's a big Polynesian thing too. You see a lot of like Troy Polamalu kind of started that. Domo Tapeco does it. I mean, it's part of us. Honestly, I'm, I'm comfortable with my body. I'm just you know uh, I'm most proud of all my body. I guess you could say every part of my body. I guess I'd say my legs, maybe. My wife's always talking about how big my legs are. So I was like, right, I guess, and I try to do more squats. <laughs> I would say, I think I have good legs. I think that's probably, I always, I don't have a big ass, but I think it's a nice ass. So, or a nice butt, I'm sorry. People come and go all the time in this business, and this is a special group of guys, and I wanted to capture that moment. It was a very fun experience, and especially being able to do it with these four knuckleheads over here made it entertaining. If you stop playing football tomorrow, how do you think your body would be different in six months? Oh, oh. Uh, I would hope to go the right way and go down instead of going up. I would for sure lose a lot of weight. You know, I'd miss football for sure, but I think I'd feel a lot better, uh, honestly. Not looking forward to not playing football because I love playing football. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to feeling uh, 60 pounds lighter, yeah. Nutrition will be key. And then uh, try to find something to keep me active, playing basketball or something like that. I'll probably uh, lose 50 pounds and uh, maybe go on a two-mile run or something. Just something I've, I haven't done in the past 10 years. Does that sound nice or does it still sound, still sound if you really too want, far away? If you want to know the truth, if I ever quit football, I'd want to go to WWE. If you like the way this feels and you want to start feeling it more often, give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! Lane is the funniest. Uh, just because Lane just, I don't know where he'll just spasm and just say something funny and just, I'm like, dude, we're in the meetings. Stop it. <laughs> this is a serious time. Lane has no filter and just really doesn't give a shit about anything. So like, he, I mean, whatever comes to his mind, like he's going to say. And I, and I say like, Eight out of ten times, it's going to be funny, yeah. JR used to be the announcer at WWE. He was uh, a big OU fan, so he was always at the games whenever I was in college. And I've always been pretty outspoken, I guess, since I've been in the league. It's got the better of me sometimes, but, you know, whatever judgment comes my way, I kind of take it as it goes. And 
I thought kind of feel liberated because of it. What do you hope people take from the pictures when they see them? They can just laugh and just see us as a bunch of goofy guys. That that's what we are, and hopefully the pictures can capture what we're really about and really be authentic and genuine and nothing really fake about it and just what you see is what you get. Just being a bigger person, being comfortable with your body. You know, my body may not be the best looking, but it does get the job done. <laughs> we had some crazy nights out on town. We, you know, we've had some crazy days on the football field, kind of been through the fire with, with all these guys, been, you know, a bunch of highs, a bunch of lows, and maybe look back one day and, and just smile.